Right, hey everyone. So let me know if you can hear me clearly. So welcome to our Econ Club live. I forgot this is which one maybe it's already the tenth live, I guess. Uh, we have been here for a while, right? So I think we started the group like in July, and it has been like around two months that we every week we have been doing live training nonstop every week. I'm so sure that if you guys have joined all my live every single week you should have learned a lot of things. And if you really, really put into action to test the Facebook ad, to do product research, you should have your store up and running, right? So today, I know a lot of you maybe already have your store, but you don't know whether your store is good or bad because you don't know whether the conversion rate is good, where the color, the logo, all this thing is good or not. So today I do a special training for you guys is that I will personally look at your store one by one. If you really, really want to show me the store, Okay, if you want everyone to look at your store together, right? You can send the link. You, you can just share the link in the in the comment section. I will open it and then I will review it in front of everyone and let you know what you need to learn. Okay, it's a very good way. So if you want me to review your store live, please drop the link, your URL of the store to here. Okay, it doesn't matter that if other people try to spy on you because a lot of people are afraid that other people will spy on your store. But if you are in the beginning stage, it's totally fine. Okay, unless you are a very established store already. But in the beginning, no one, they don't know. They don't know if you're a big store or a long store. So they will spy you if you're doing incorrectly. Other people, if they copy you, they may also ruin their store, right? So today, we're going to do a live training with you guys that if you want me to help you to review your store in front of everyone, feel free to send you the link. Or you can you can private message me the link. Then I will open the link together and we will with in front of you, right? Okay. So hey Eddie, hey John, hey Rohit, yeah Rohit also here. You know Rohit keeps sending me message about please pick him <laughs> for a free consultation, right? But we don't know, okay? The universe will give you the best at the right time, okay? If you ask for it, it may not be the perfect time for you to have the call, right? The calling of the universe will make the good and perfect decision for you, all right? Hey John, Angel is also here. Hey Ernest is also here. We just done a call with Ernest. Okay. Nice, everyone is here. Okay, so again today we also have the free consultation winner. So we pick up a, uh, a winner during our live and we pick them, pick one of them. And then we will give you a one hour, 45 minutes to one hour of call. Normally we will overrun. Okay, we'll give you guys a full map out about what you need to do in your store. What should you need to do first? And you can also share a screen of your Facebook ad to me. I will help you scale up your product, right? A lot of students have been having my one-on-one -on -one training. They've done amazing results. Like last week, uh, Irwin, right? Arvin. Arvin is the one doing the, uh, his brand store. He's doing really good. He's in, he's in Australia, actually. I mean, it's Melbourne, right? It's Melbourne, Australia. So he has he, he have his product shipped from Alibaba to Australia. And then he'll package himself and he ship it locally. He's doing really, really great. We look at his store and then we give him some idea about how we can make a brand store work as well. How to use influencer marketing how to build a brand, how to get recurring income just by doing just one product. And I also talked to him how to expand with different product type because it will be really, really good for his niche. All right. So uh, before we start, before we start, we always start with doing something with what we call a diaphragmatic breathing exercise, right? So free up both your hand, okay, free up both your hand. We're going to do a three deep breath, okay? So one hand on your chest and a hand on your stomach. We're going to do three deep breath together. Okay. So just follow me when you do the deep breath, make sure you only expand your stomach, not your chest, only your stomach. All right. So let's breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more. Breathe in. and breathe out all right so i want to do a very quick poll that means how many of you here are actually doing meditation so if you do med meditation regularly that means like a few times per week even daily i want to know like please type yes if you are doing meditation i want to know like roughly right now how many people is doing it because uh, i've been practicing meditation for like nearly one whole year daily i do it every day every morning for around 15 to 20 minutes. I do it literally every single day and keep me really, really refreshed. Like, like 
when I try to make a very good decision, I will do the, the diaphragmatic breathing I told you. Like, I'll take three deep breaths, and I'll understand, okay, where should I do it, where should I do it? After three deep breaths, normally you can make a very clear decision. Let me see. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have five, six people also doing it. Okay, that sounds good, sounds good. All right. So I, okay. Angel also doing, and you doing good. <laughs> Most of them is Mustin. <laughs> okay. Then that's also doing it. Okay. So if you, if you really, really not yet start doing meditation, I highly, highly recommend you start doing meditation. You may say, hey, 30 minutes, like 15 minutes, 30 minutes of time per day is a lot. But you really, really think about it. The time you invest in meditation and actually give you more productive time. Because you stop thinking about it. You stop thinking, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Because you already know what you need after doing meditation. Everything slow down. You found that time is easy to use, easier for you to manage. You know, for me, most of the time when I work in my store or, or my or my company or my business, we work just around like one to two hours per day. And majority of time, we'll be like reading books, learning, watching video, do whatever we like. Because we found that just one to two hours really, really highly productive time. That's what you achieve everything. Why right? we have, do remember the 20, 80 rule? 20% of your effort actually create 80% of the result, which is the same. In your whole day, normally, only 20% of the time that you use generate what's really, really useful, which is 80% of the things that's beneficial for your future. So that's why time is not the things that determine how good it is, but really it's the quality. So we need to have a, like 100% of focus on doing these things. That's why I, I require you guys to do the three deep breath is I want you to really slow down, calm yourself down, really, because this live training for this this live, I'm going to literally show you how you can set up the store properly. Okay, what's the best way to, to the easiest way, the simplest way to make a store have a good conversion way without, without using any application. You don't need to use the, those kind of timer, I don't, those, I don't know, pull up, all kind of things. You don't need to have those. Those are only some guru or some, I don't know, software guy trying to sell you those software. Majority of the brand store, they don't even have those. Go to Sarah, right? Go to Forever 21. Go to Victoria's Secret. Go to, I don't know, uh, ASOX, right? Gap. All those big websites, do they, can you see them do scarcity timer? Can you see them have a pop-up of the, I don't know, someone buy this from Australia, someone buy this from the United States? They don't have those. Why do they not have it? They have the most database. Every day they have millions of people go to their website. If those, those applications are useful, why don't they use it? They don't even have the reading, the speeding wheel, right? The, the we call video, right? The one who, who, who put the email and then you have like a spinning wheel and they say, okay, you win 20% off. Look at those websites. Have they used it? But right now, every store use those things, right? If you are a general store, some of the big store they're using the same thing. But if they are running a general store, they do, didn't treat their customer really, really good, what's gonna happen? When they see your store also using the same type of pop up, they'll think about, hey, you are from the same gang. You're from the same group of people. You just try to treat my money. Then just because of that pop up, they will just go away. That's why it's harming your store if using some software or application that everyone is using. Right? So today, I'm going to show you what you should avoid, what you should do more, and what you should be focusing on. All right? So give me some 777 if you are ready, and make sure you take out your notebooks and your pens. So let me know if you are ready. Type ready in the chat box that you have your notebook and your pants ready for today's training. All right? So I'm going to share my screen for today. Where's my mouse? Okay, we have 42 people here. Thanks for coming today. So I want to do a very quick poll for everyone because I don't know whether all of you have your store ready or not yet. Okay? Do you have... Uh, do you have an active store? I want to ask a very quick question. So I see a lot of light ready. Good, good. Joey also here. Hey, Joey. <laughs> Joey, I love your sharing. I love your sharing in the, in the entrepreneur club. I love the, the build to sell, right? I think it's a really, really amazing, uh, amazing book. And you drop the notes and you share with everyone, you know, just this, this action. You know, just this action. You already create a lot of good karma. You know, everyone's going to remember you. 
everyone gonna go whenever they think about something they will go okay i will think of joey first i have something new i want to share with joey all right because what you are doing right now what we are doing right now is like we try to do more good to the society we want to do more good to the community because a lot of people they really really need our our expertise or what we know so when they take good use of the knowledge then when they have, when they become successful they will also share the same thing to the people that in need right the problem you are facing right now is actually the universe telling you that hey go fix it after you fix it try to share your way to other people so more people can benefit so that they don't need to suffer anymore okay, that's your mission in life the problem you're facing right now is actually what you can help and share with everyone all right so okay so i want to know here want to know here uh, who want me to review your store live here okay please type your store in the chat box right now i will copy your paste i will go ahead i will go straight go straight ahead and review your store online okay for me to be honest if you really, really want me to review your store you have to be my private student which is for my one-on-one -on -one call for like one hour we cost at least 500 dollars per hour so if you want, you want me to review you all night i'm gonna do it, do it for free for just five store today okay five store today i will do it live so we can learn from each other because only learn by other mistake other people's mistake that's how we can learn faster all right you can send me your link here hey Wohan, you please tie your tie your store here i will help you to review it okay so uh before i go start you know my store for this one last week i mentioned about we are doing 3.5k right you know today today let me show you it's the same store right now today right now we are at 1.3k in sales and then for this month we are already at 12k let me show you so we, just one week just one week literally just one week okay is it focusing yeah see it's already 12.65k it's going up every single day so this is a whole new store you can see we just started like earlier mid middle of the month i know no bullshit thing i just used my exactly system i show you every single week i just do the same thing with you guys right i just do the same but if you don't take action no result right so i'm telling you that you just need to take action okay everything i share is exactly what basically similar to what i'm doing with my coaching student except this is just the strategy but for my coaching student it's more and more about mindset fine tuning to make sure you really really take action people who get free information they don't take action that's why that's why they do not get results but for people who pay they pay attention so they will try to push hard for themselves to create results like this 12k for this month for a new store right this is what you can do for a whole new beginner all right so i have few link so okay wait i see joey already published the share the link so i will open it one by one joey's one uh wall hands one and then night nightberry okay we have three of them here and then one more make yellow okay i will go through them one by one for you guys okay mr fish first is it mr fish okay mr fish <laughs> okay i'm gonna put it here okay let me share my screen okay can you guys see it can you guys see it okay one more cosmobag.co okay i have five store already okay i have five store already don't send me don't send me anymore okay let me finish this five store first okay so first of all okay please stay with me we have 41 people here please stay with me just this 30 minute try to learn from everyone here Okay, so that you can optimize your store okay i don't want you guys to miss the life okay it's quite important because i don't know whether i will do it again later on because it will leak other people's students other students store to everyone so i don't want to do too much but today it's only five okay so here so this is by from joey right i think it's from joey yep joey so you can see he's doing a just by look at it i would think it's a a fish store then you can see the word is fishing right it's a fishing store and you have the word tackle right you have the word cast wind stripe repeat so we have a very good uh, name a keyword really the fishing that's good try to have more this kind of keyword so one 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 i one uh suggestion for all of you is that try to understand what kind of word things that your niche is always using like fishing that should have some some slang or some word they always use 
right? So you need to go to the forum, you go to Wikipedia or Reddit. Just go to those forums, scroll up, up and down, up and down, see what kind of word they always use. You find something you don't understand, try to Google it. Okay, this is one of the easiest way to understand what is your niche keyword. Because you can use those niche keywords in your interest targeting, the niche keyword in your ad copy, and in your product description. Because if you can speak their language, that's how they feel like you are really, really like a real store. That's why when everyone asks me, hey, Yik, what, what niche should I pick? What niche should I pick? Like, what niche should I do? That's why you always need to pick a niche that you already have experience in. So if you have you like fishing, you're going to have a lot of good keywords that you know that other people don't know. Right? If you like, I don't know, maybe you, you love cosmetic, then you can know a lot of cosmetic brand, you know how they write their ad copy, what kind of product type they use, you can also apply in your store. Right? So if you don't understand the niche at all, it may take you more time to do research. Okay, that's why one tips, one tips, write down, okay, if you know, write down in notebooks, please start with the niche that you love and also list down all the special keyword or word they are using in that niche. You can go to go to the forum, go to those discussion, Reddit, even those Facebook page, Instagram page, see what those big Instagram page is using, play it around. Okay, when they run the echo people, what kind of photo people have a lot of likes and comments. Very easy, just go to find those Instagram accounts, you can see a lot. Well, what are the brand? Fishing, fishing bread, right? Fishing material, fishing, I don't know, all kind of things related to it. Even watch a documentary about fishing, right? So Joey, I love the I love the photo. Because when I just open your website, I know it's about fish. If someone who loves fish, they will like, ah, this is my store. The first homepage, people go to your store. The first slideshow here, it has to be talking directly to them. That means they, they can you know under, Right off the batch, they know what you're doing. Fish. That's it. Fish. Okay. Then already okay. If you're doing a general store, you don't even know what you're gonna put here. Right? That's so hard for you to put some niche attractive photo there. So as a fishing, you put a fishing, put a fish there. Alright, so good job for this one. And then I can see it's blue color because it's about sea, about river, about ocean, right? That's why you use the blue color. Right down on this one. Then let me see. Okay, first first of all, first of all. In here, you have a slideshow here. So for slideshow, try to have only have one photo. Okay, slideshow, only have one photo. Okay, for slideshow, only have one photo. If you have more than one, it will make your store slow down. Okay, just one photo is enough. Keep it simple. Okay, and then here for the home page, the first thing I would say is, I, maybe, I, don't, I don't know whether you have finished your store or set up already or not yet. So here, try to have like four more collections. Four more collection. I will I will give you a demo later on my another store. So here, this is one thing I do. I need to my that. So this place you need to add the collection. Okay, I will show you later on in my another store. Okay, and then let me go inside to see your product. Okay, best seller. So so in total you have like around some or about around fifteen products. Yeah, you have around fifteen products. Okay, you have around 15 products. So your color tone is blue and white. So here, I know you're using black color. I know you're using black color. I would recommend maybe you try to use the white color. Because here you use black and you use green and blue. Oh, I mean, blue and white. It looks good. Blue and white looks good. Just like Facebook, blue and white. Right? Blue and white. So I recommend also this part. Whenever it's a blue background, try to use also the white color. You see, after I highlight it, it looks better, right? White color. You can also change it to right color for your footer, right? So drop down, Joey. Okay, and then let me see one of the products. Add to cart, free ebook. Okay, see you are using ups. I mean, like like a free bonus to talk about the free ebooks, right? Good, good for this one. And then free wash, paint, all these things. Yeah, more photo. Good. You have the GIF. You have all these things. It looks okay. Okay, it looks okay. You have all the review. Right, are the top seller. Some review. It's good, it's good. Actually it looks really nice. Okay. Uh one tip for you guys. Whenever you look at the product page, you have to always always look at the mobile version. Which is you right click. If you in in a Chrome, you can see something called inspect. You click inspect, it will move to something like this. Okay, it will be become a mobile version. It will become a mobile version. Okay, so I will look at it first. Okay, add to car is green, it's blue. And then look, okay. 
Can I be real? It's top. Okay, so your, your name is on the top. Okay, so this is the theme. Free lure and evil. Okay, okay. Yep, they looks fine actually also on mobile. Well done on this one. Okay, let me see add to cut. Okay, for add to cut, it's go to this page. Everything is blue in color. So also have this one. Yeah, okay, you have a free. Okay, this is a good upsell app. So already have this one. Secure check out. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you do a really, really good job. You already update the photo here. Okay, you also up make the color here also good. So perfect, stick with this one. You also pre-chatted, pre-selected this one, right on this one. So you're really good. Overall, your website is good. So one thing I would, I would say is that I'm not sure, I'm not sure the button of the blue is good enough or not. I would highly recommend uh, this is we shall them see big winning store using the blue as the add to cart button. Okay, as the add to cart button. So I want you to also look at your competitor store or the fishing store. See if they are also using the blue color as the add to cart. If yes, then you follow this one. Okay. Then let me see, look at your other products. Okay, so this is just a, this is just an upsell. Okay, and this is also an upsell. Okay. So your main so what you are selling is mainly this one, I think. You try to try to keep selling this product, right? So you did a really good job on this product is that you try to add more photo in the description. Okay. I highly highly recommend all of you guys try to add more photo in the description because basically everyone, everyone, like us, when you go to Facebook, you go to Instagram, you only scroll up and down. When most of us is scroll up and down, up and down, up and down. Our finger prefer up and down instead of left and right. That's why when you do left and right, you, if you just put photo here, it may not good enough. I highly recommend you put more photo also in the product description. So like, so so the people will see, okay, I can see more photo, I can see what it looks like, so that they feel like they are already spent enough time on this product. So they will just come back and buy. If you just go to this page, most of the product page, they only have the, this one, and it escape. And they just have maybe no photo or just text, then the people will feel like it's not good. They feel like, okay, I don't even spend enough time on this product. Let's go. Let's see another Facebook post. All right? So I prefer you add more photo in the product description here. So Joey have done a really good job, even have a GIF. Okay, we're done on this part. Your editor is good. So, so far, no problem at all on this one. Just the, the home page. Just the home page. And then here, here, you have the your, your main menu. Okay, sorry about that. You can see the main menu. My face is poking it. Okay, wait. I move my face here. Okay. So you have the main menu. Tackle shop, happy customer, and contact us. Okay, you only have this this three. So and then you put your about us here. Which is good, which is good. I recommend you make sure, make sure you create one more uh I mean like like one more page is only talking about about us. I know you're here, you put it here. Okay. I prefer you also put it about here. Most people they look at here. So to have about us is a must. I will highly recommend you have the about us. And then the FAQ over button. Okay, okay. Try to have about us and then one more, one more. The collection. Collection. Right now, when people click here, they just go to the home page. They will go to here, right? You try to create one more issue to show all the collection, like a drop down menu. A drop down menu. Okay, let me show you show you mine. You see? So this is my demo store. You see, like a drop down menu like this. You see it? So when they go to for cats, they will see all the other collection. For you, they have for women or for men. So the same for you. This right now you only have like I know just a 15 product. The more product you add, the easiest for you to create a collection. Okay, I highly recommend you have around 20 to 30 products. That based on collection. Maybe product type. The product type, this product type have five here. Another product type and another five product here. So you can easier to create a collection here, like a drop down. Like a drop down menu. The people love to click those things. They want to see what you have. Okay, just like Amazon. Amazon have the same thing again. Right? Joey, this is my recommend for you. And also for the home page, try to have something called collection list. You can see free of here. You create free collection like this. 
right? So maybe this one is I don't know fishing lure, this one is fishing warp, this one is I don't know maybe a uh, fishing other uh, fishing clothing, right? So if you create three collection here, and then you have a new arrival here, a bestseller here. Okay, so this is my my preferred layout. So this is the cat store, for example, right? Okay. Okay, I see a lot of things. No way. Okay, Joey, you're doing a really good job. Mr. Fishon. Okay, good one for this one. So everything looks good. Okay, just the home page, you need to tidy a little bit and the main menu. Okay, other thing is alright because you don't do use a lot of pop up and all the other software. So which is good. This is good. You you, you side low really, really fast. And one thing I highly recommend you go to one site called uh speed test. Website speed test. There's something called ping down. Website speed test. Yep, this one. Ping down tools website speed test. You go to here and then you can put your website there. Let's say the home page, you put the home page in here, you click start test. It will give you how long how long does it take to load your whole website and then what is the percentage, what's the rating. Okay, so this is something you can try. I recommend you do both your home page in your portal page, home page and portal page. Okay, we're gonna wait for a while for the result. Okay, see, it takes like just 1.1 second, good, really, really good. Make sure it's less than three seconds. Make sure your website low less than three seconds because our attention span is just three seconds. Okay, if more than three seconds, people just go. Okay, so this is your home page speed. And then let's say this one. Also put it here. Start test. Okay. So let me look at another store, which is the library, right? Okay, another one. I will based on the one who sent it me. Uh, spirit, spirit sauce. Spirit sauce. Which one? Spirit sauce. This one. Spirit sauce goes. Okay. So here, okay, 1.9 seconds, still okay. 1.9 seconds, still okay. Okay, so make sure to check your website speed. Okay, so well done, Joey. I hope this can give you a very, I mean, a good evaluation of your store. So far, it's doing really, really nice. Okay, just tidy up the home page will be really, really good. All right, well done on your store. Keep doing it. Fishing niche is a very, very important niche. Really good one. Keep on doing it and try to find more product related to free on demand. Okay, there's some product which is in the fishing niche which is print on demand. You can go to AliExpress to search for those maybe hoodies, t-shirt, uh, bedding, canvas art. There should be a lot. It's easy for you to fill up your store with a lot of amazing, passionate products. All right. So thanks, Joey, for the store. Okay, let's move on to another one. Spiritual sauce. Okay, spiritual sauce should be by. I don't know who. Spiritual sauce is like, Subhamoy. Right, support my sucker. Right, so for this one, so you are doing a meditation niche, a spiritual niche, and you can see for spiritual niche, okay, you did a really, really good job to adding to add photo. I mean, add a background photo to most of your products. Okay, so you make it look branded. Well done on this one. So, first thing, when I look at your product, first thing, first thing I notice is your pricing. Your pricing. Most of our products like, if you can see it, if you want. So for a price, you can see $18, $12, $18, $16. Most of your product, your profit margin is so low. Why right? so low? I prefer, I prefer when you pick the product for a store, try to have a profit margin of at least 20, $15 to $20 minimum. 15 to 20 dollar profit margin for example if you're selling this one for just 12 dollar if you source it from aliexpress maybe it already cost you five dollar so for this one you can make all maximum you can make this like around five to six dollar not to mention this is like paypal and processing fee right and then and on facebook normally the cost per purchase is around eight dollar to fifteen dollar it's this is the range of eight dollar to fifteen dollar for really really good cost per person on Facebook. So after cost per person, you may not be making a lot of money. So I recommend you try to find good 
a more high value item. See if you can find some, I don't know, yoga mat or meditation mat, right? Those kind of more high perceived value item. See if you can find those. And then, so you are using the debut theme. I think based on this one, debut theme is really, really good one. So you are low in budget. Just simply use the debut theme. D-E-B-U-T. It's on Shopify, it's for free. Which is already give you a very branded website. So you're using red color. You're using, yeah, mainly it's the red color. Okay, let me look at your, so for the homepage, it looks okay, but try to have also have collection. Just maybe one collection is for the bracelets. One for one collection is for the, maybe this one, the tapes tree, tapes tree, and then one one collection for the, I don't know, maybe like 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 electronics kind of things. So you have try to have three to four collections. So the people can click to the collections to see what else you have. Okay? And then I don't prefer you have the add to cart right here. I don't prefer you have the add to cart right here. Because if the people can add to cart here, they may not fire the real content pixel or not even fire the add to cart pixel. It will mess up your Facebook pixel. The, the tracking may not be good enough. And it may distract them. They don't even know what to it, what it is. So they may not want to click it. Because for them, it will be really, really like a big investment. They want to look at it first before the add to cart. So, but right now, if you, you ask them add to cart directly, they feel like you are too pushy. When you are too pushy, try to remove this add to cart one. Maybe it's an app. I don't think debut have that one. Okay. Let me go inside. So, Red color, good. So sales ending, again, I don't prefer use this one. There's no need for the for the sales ending because everyone knows. You just like, everyone just putting the, the okay, you have too many there, <laughs> okay? You have the sales, no, counter. You have the, the pop, the, 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 this one, the effect of the end card. And then you also have the, the left hand side, the pop up of the, of the someone buy you something. So when people go to your website, Think about their, their, their attention. They look at the, oh, the counting timer. Oh, the add to cut button. Oh, suddenly something pop up, right? You're distracting them instead of focusing on your ad copy, your description. Your focus is to let them to look at your description and look at the photo to invest time there instead of push them directly that they not even have spent the time to understand what you are selling, right? So try to remove them first. You don't need them. It will just slow down your website. Okay, and then here, chat with us, the chat with us button. Okay, I'm so sure this is like a messenger ad. Okay, so I prefer you don't have it. Try not to have it unless you are online. Because people, they may, they will really, really send a question to your Facebook request. And then they will wait for the reply. They will just wait, keep waiting, keep waiting, waiting until you reply before they buy. So if you are not active on your Facebook messenger, don't put it there because people will really really send a message to you and just wait for you to reply before they buy okay don't do that instead you can retargeting them later on like hey why you don't buy you can send them a message hey why do you don't buy you can do your retargeting ad i saw you visit our website you have any question feel free to send me a message we will answer you like another funnel but in the beginning keep everything focused on just one action which is add to cart your only focus for them to do is add to cart not click the live chat, not see something popping up, not see the countdown timer. All right. Okay. But I see you do a really good job in the product description. But you, you mentioned about uh, the feature, right? You mentioned about uh, it's for home decoration. You give you a good dream, dream what's the meaning of dream culture. You also put it for kids so they know they can buy for their gift for, as a gift as well. Good. And then one thing, one thing start to go sideways. Is that you use red color here? You use the main is red color, right? And then let me go to the homepage. Red color, green. See, red, green because you set everything for your background to be green. Blue. Okay, what I see on the website is red, green, and blue. Okay, mainly is like that. But suddenly, when I go to your product page, you give me something like this. Right? You give me something like this. Which is totally feel like you copy from somewhere else, somewhere else, right? You just copy from somewhere else, you put it there. This is the first impression that someone go to see. Hey, why you? I can't even read the word, but it's so 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 pale, right? Right for the for the, for the, for the white color, right? So I prefer you use either you don't use it, 
if you use it, find a color that's always, that really, really fits your brand color. Because right now, you have red, you have green, you have blue. So it's like three color together in your whole store. Normally, normally for a brand store, they maximum have around maximum three color, but the main color will be two, which is your background color and your button color. And they should be very, very similar to your logo color. You have a very good logo. You have a really, really good logo, to be honest. You can pick just two color to become your theme color. All right, even your button, no need to be red. Just pick one of them. The green, the purple, or the, the orange to become your color. You don't even need the red one. Okay, so you look consistent. All right? Okay, so for here, for the contact us, yeah, one thing you need to know, here, you see, you're using something called spiritual source company at gmail.com. I highly recommend you register another uh, uh, software. I mean, using the uh, uh, premium email, you can go to, you, you use Soho, Soho Mail. Soho Mail is free. Can anyone help me type it in the chat box? E Z O H O M A R L. Soho Mail is free. You can register a free Soho Mail, which is you can use to support at spiritual or spirit source.co. Then you can have a very, very premium one. And then in here, you can actually add a contact box. A con contact box. I will show you guys here. So when you're in a website, so you can create a face a, a product page that already have the contact us. Contact us. Uh, here, here. You go to go to contact us here. You can see here. That's called template surface, right? You select it. You select the one called page content. You create page content, and now this page will already give you a contact box like this. Or you don't even need to cook it because your theme already have it. So just go to a uh, create the, your page, pick this one, then you can have it. Okay, and then you can also add the, the, the email and also the phone number. All right. Okay, about us. Let me look at your about us. Okay, for your about us, also add some photo there. So add some photo there. Add some photo and also add more story. You can at the end of the of the of the about us, you can add a link. Hey, check out our best seller collection. You can put a link there. Because you don't want them to look at your page and then do nothing. And they click the back button. No, you want them to keep surfing around in your store. That's why in every page that is only have text, right? Put a link there. Put a link there. About us, right? Just put a link there, right? Get fifty, get twenty percent off with this design code, something like that. Okay, see our bestseller collection. Then click, click the link there, right? Put the clickable URL there so the people can keep serving around in your store. Okay, collection good. Yeah, you just put like pick, pick three to four collection. Put it in your homepage. Quite easy, just like what I do with with the cats one. Okay, customer review. Okay, you did a good job for this one. Keep it there. Just use it. Then shop sell. Okay, everything looks okay. Okay, let me try with your add to cart. Okay, something here. No, I don't prefer. I don't prefer you have this kind of uh, uh, add to cart. I prefer when people add, click the add to cart. They go straight to the cart page. They should be go going directly here. They should be here, because most of the time only here it will activate the add to cart pixel. Most of the time, most of the time. Some theme they may not activate them add to cart pixel. I prefer you when they click add to cart, go straight to the cart page. Go straight to the cart page, that means they can click check out directly. Alright? Okay, you have the insurance of on shipping. Okay. That's good. And then okay, you are using one page out, but one thing here. You see, you see? What's the vision? What's the what's the problem with this one? This thing is debut. This thing, this thing is debut. J. This thing is debut. D E B U T. Okay, can you see the problem? You see, why? Why? But suddenly become blue button, right? You were using red. Someone click red, 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 and then oh my god, blue. They were asking think about, hey, is it a whole new website? Is it a website trying to scam my credit card? That's the reason why they don't check out. That's the conversion killer, because you're not consistent with all your brand color. Change this button. To the red color or change all the other one to the green to the blue color 
that's the part that kill your website just because of this button right what is considered good loading time less than three seconds will be good i want within two seconds the best the shorter the faster but try to make it load faster let me less than three seconds whenever it's more than three seconds go to fiverr hire someone like like 10 or 20 dollar ask him to check what happened what's wrong with your website they will help you to speed it up all right so i hope this can give you a very good evaluation on your store okay just the color mainly mainly main focus is the color your main issue is the color and also here your, your slide your photo here is not high quality enough i can see the pixel i can see the pixel here should you find some better photo should i find a better photo the style of it, even facing them look at them the, 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 the woman is doing meditation look at them so it's more eye-catching okay good move on another one nightberry okay nightberry okay who's who's nightberry nightberry is Buhi. okay Buhi. okay your turn Buhi. <laughs> Rohit Okay, it looks good. You are over you are, what thing is this? The thing is okay, never mind. So you're doing a is it baby store? Or general store? General store? <laughs> okay. General store. Which one which niche you think you want to do? Because for general store it's so difficult for me to reveal there. Yeah. Okay. So you have black colour for your for your for your logo and you have the blue colour for your button. And let me see your product. Okay, also blue button. Add to cart. Again, add to cart, okay. Try out. Okay, still loading. Still loading. Still loading. Okay, okay, here. Ah. Uh, Inspect. Oh, okay, it's loading the background. Okay. It's okay, I thought it's like too long time for it to load. Okay, just stick with this one. I think it's okay. For this one for check out so your tone is blue tone so take with the blue tone for the page so okay you have the trademark here good now cut your value and food okay, okay because you're doing general order okay if you general order i'll guarantee 30 days 30 days zero weeks for the next few weeks okay you made like this similar product testimonial all right, your, your store is good. Apart from this just general store, everything is okay. We all top seller. I found that you don't even put any sales price. All right, you everything you just you uh, the compare price. It seems like you only use the directly use the selling price, right? Okay, looks good. For general store, it's fine. Okay, it's good. Let me look at your mobile version. Mobile version also okay. Photo, yep. Good. Have GIF, have photo. Twitter, have review. Yeah, we well, hope you're doing a good job. So it means that the only issues if you're not getting sales <laughs> is the product or the niche. Okay, because if you are doing, I, I will highly, 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 highly recommend you please turn this store into a niche store. Okay, try to turn this store into a niche store. Pick one niche that you like and then only focus on that one. I thought, I thought you were doing baby niche. <laughs> Night baby. At first, I thought you were doing baby niche. Okay, but suddenly, because I also see a baby here. And suddenly I say, okay, why come, how come it's a beauty? How is home improvement? So for someone who land on a website, they may have the same idea. Night baby. It's a baby. I see a, a baby hand unboxing the gift, and I see a baby head here. And then suddenly, oh my god, why suddenly have beauty and health? And then, oh my god, how can I have a cat here? Then why someone is doing these kind of things, right? So, it's about consistency. If you are really, really want to do general store, I never have success in general store. Okay, I can. I, I, it's not my expertise. I'm just good at niche store, so I will evaluate based on my amateur experience on general store. But this looks good okay it looks good for a general store okay just because of 
Maybe the product you need to find a little bit better. Yeah. Be consistency. Yeah. Yeah. So what you can do is quite easy. You don't need. You just need to hide the collection. You just need to hide the other collection. Then it can easily become a baby store. So for example, you want to test the baby product first. Let's say you have a baby product store, like a kid store. Okay, you can find around ten to twenty product. Only put those on the store first, and you hide all the other product. Then you test it first. You find out okay, baby is not working. Then you can hide the baby product, put the other niche product there, and then test it again. Okay, so you don't really need to create a whole new store from scratch. All right. Okay. No. Yep. No sell on every product. Good general product. Okay. So and then you can see some big problem here. See, this photo is long. This photo is square. So it become look so amateur. Your store. If you square, make sure every photo is square. Make sure every photo is square. And then some of the naming, I for, I mean, I think you I for, you forgot to change this one, right? So the, for the product naming, okay. So some tips for you guys. For the product title, for the product title, maximum, maximum, five word, maximum, five word. Two to three is the best. Product title, two to three is the best. Okay, two, three, four, five, okay. Okay, more than five, too much. Okay, like this one. Three in one smart vacuuming and mopping robot. Too long. It could be too long already. You see, basically you cover two line. Right? A lot of people they they don't look at a lot on the product title. They mainly they look at the photo, they mainly they look at uh the description. Okay, for the title, just keep it really, really simple. Don't get them to have too much fantasy. Don't distract them too much. Okay, just simply like catch me, intelligence escaping robot toy. Uh yes, yeah, still okay, like this one. This is usually like a, like a trademark one. So you learn someone from about doing the trademark. That's good. You can keep doing that more as well using the trademark one, the TM one. Let's see, contact us. Okay, good. Well job. Well done. Well done. See, so you also put it here so that people can click here instead of contacting you. So well done on this part. Really good job in here. Track orders. Okay, no worry. Our story. Yeah, long. Yeah, like, like this one. If you like this long, it'll be good. Like at least a few paragraphs. And then the bottom, you can just add, give them a collection for them to click. Shop, yeah, exactly. Don't talk about. Joey, this is the one I want you to do, to try. Have a drop down, have some collection here. Home, shop, our story, contact us, check out that. Exactly. That's the minimum you need to have. Well done on this one, Joey. So just follow this one. Okay. Okay, so far the others looks good. So the main issue is just, yeah, <laughs> the niche, okay, the niche. And then, yeah, it looks good. And, and the photo, the size, the size of the photo, the niche. And yeah, it looks good. Write down this one, okay. Uh, okay, and then will be another one is make me yellow. Hey, make me yellow, is it your, your store? Who sent me this? Is it make me yellow? Mm. Wohan? Is it sure your store? This was so huge. This store is a is a is a POD store. Uh, similar web. I think make me yellow is a very big store. Is yours or, or you just copy from someone? Okay, it's not that it. So, ah, you just created it. It's another one. Are you learn? Are you copying from someone another store? Yeah, tell me yellow. Ah, this is the big one. <laughs> ha, so you're learning from this store turned, turned yellow with the make me yellow. <laughs> So you try to copy is not exactly the same. <laughs> let me let me compare you from the side by side. So you try to learn from this website, right? The two me yellow. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, this is direct copy. Okay, you are you are directly copying someone's website. This will get you into copyright issues. Go mm. ahead. Please don't do this. <laughs> it's a good niche. It's a really, really good niche. But 
you should even copy the exactly the same photo it's not good it's not good for you to copy exactly the same because they can easily send you an email hey you even copy the same layout okay even copy the same layout so this is not good okay my my suggestion please don't direct copy learn from them at least change the it at least the photo is by you or by some designer don't don't, don't copy exactly the same photo because the photo created by them they can easily send you an email even send you a letter okay then you'll be in the trouble right okay <laughs> that's why when i look at your website i thought this is that this website if you're this one you make a lot of money let me show you how much he's making for this one i think it's like a few thousand a few hundred thousand see 50k no 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 186k he's making at least look at the p look at the p in <laughs> may in may may 2020 is making 1 million per month that month is making 1 million you see you see the number 1 million maybe that's why you try to learn from him right so because because you are doing the exactly the same thing you are competing with the same store you are competing with the same store that's already doing 200k 500k 1 million so they have really really big and you can also learn how much they charge okay they may need that traffic from search so they do a lot of search google ad 32 percent from from facebook maybe facebook ad and uh, yeah looks fiverr okay a lot of referring sites from fiverr i don't know why they look there from fiverr drop points so are many people is, is spying on drop points and then search yeah this is the keyword they're using seems on me also okay 32 percent is from facebook some also from youtube as well okay okay so actually i think that means your store is actually is actually we call it a drop server store that means when someone i when, when someone upload a photo to you you're gonna you're gonna hire someone on fiverr to to make it right or you make it oh he's sleeping now <laughs> want me to show it to you we're getting too much atc okay okay so are you converting how much are you making for this one do you know for your friend house couch bar it's good 80 dollar that's really really high margin okay one photo is like 60 dollars so this is a good good idea so for someone i don't know maybe you want to be interested but it's it's require more thing to do because you need to find a designer to do it and then you do all kind of things okay well done on this one actually this is a very very good niche okay this is real effect for this one for those review <laughs> i hope you guys hope this is a real review okay unlike all the others okay so uh no problem at all but you you just copy the same you just copy the brand store okay you are copying exactly like a brand store there's no problem at all for all the optimization because you're doing the same thing that someone already doing one million per month they already optimize their website so if you directly copy them sure there's no issue with optimization but the main issue is about copyright all right the main issue will be just about copyright so for this one just go ahead if you want to do it keep doing it but just aware of that when someone try to send you an email a message about you need to you copy it's that for long term. it will not be a long term when you start making money try to change all the photo to become your own version that's how it become long lasting all right so it looks good to be i, I quite I, I quite like this concept some people is looking they, they, they make like enemy right they make the i don't know maybe dragon ball they make two and also other other characters you can try with this one as well good for this one okay so let me try another store so another store will be the last one cosmo bag okay cosmo bag i mean cosmo bag is by j right it is j cosmo bag is by okay ella 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 okay one product store so first of all this product okay this product is a old winning product long long long, long time ago one to two years at least one to two years ago so this is a uh, oversaturated product. It's oversaturated product. So I don't recommend keep selling this one. I recommend you move on to another product. And then your site look good. You look good. So I don't know what happened here. Let's try to fix this part. Cosmo bag. 
Okay, your store has a really really good branding. You have the pink, you have the black. So pink and black is actually most of the cosmetic brand they use this color. Pink, pink or purplish with black, because black represent premium. Purple as well, also premium. Right. So stick with this color, and then let me see your product page. For product page. I think what you can do, I think what you can do, you can simply just change your domain name and your logo to a very general beauty store if you really really want to do in the beauty niche. Okay, just change it to I didn't Cosmo store. I don't know. It's fun, think find another name, another name that's more general. That's general in the beauty niche. And then let me see. Vibe. So this is the turbo theme, right? This is the turbo theme. Okay, for turbo theme. If you are in the turbo theme, I highly recommend you use this one. Uh, swatches out of sandbox. This one. How to use variant image as swatches. Then you can easier for them to pick because the photo, the photo will become the color directly. So the people do not need to click the drop down one by one. So they don't need to see, oh my god, there's like a hundred of them. They need to check them one by one to see which one they want to buy. It will be very, very time consuming for them. So if you want to do it, try to minimize it. Minimize it to just around five variant. Around five color is good enough. If too much, so hard for them to make a decision. They don't even know what to want to buy. Well, unless you separate it into each product page. One product page, one color, one variant. Okay, just like some big brand do, they just each design, they create a new 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 product page. Then they just need to go to your collection page. They can see you have twenty product, but they just using different color. Then you make your site look even more branded instead of just one page, have like I mean twenty of them. They you take them so long time to check them one by one. Right, you either minimize it. So just three ways you can do it. The first way. Use the variant variant image, so that they can directly see the photo. The second way, the second way, create one color, one product. Okay, one variant for one product. You can use Opolo. Opolo has a function that separates each variant into separate product. Okay, Opolo has the function to do that one. You can use Opolo to do that. The third one, the third one, just simply minimize, reduce the number of variant you have to in around five of them. To just around five of them, so they can only pick five the color. You don't want them to have too many choices. Otherwise, they will just go away. No, too many. Maybe next day, tomorrow. Right? Then you just lose a customer. All right. And then you do a good job on a, on a description uh, product page. This is a one product store, so you sure you're gonna invest quite a number of time into doing here. So well done on this part. But just because of variant, just this part, the variant part, and then the pricing. You just charge, charge like $21 or $22, right? Because, again, the profit margin. I'm so sure this it may not be too, too much for you. It will be so hard for you to make a big money, especially this is just a one product store. You do not have other upsell. Okay, you do not have other upsell as well. So I prefer... Turn this one to a branded niche store in a beauty niche or beauty equipment niche. Okay, see what you can do with it to find more product. Otherwise, if you just focus on one product, it's so hard for you to be successful. All right. Contact us, looks good. Look good. Just pull it. Let me try add to cart. Yeah, see, if you just have one product, why not just directly go to buy it now or directly go to the add to cart page? Because I saw you also have the pop up. See the mini cards, the mini cards. Try not to have the mini cards. Okay, if you are have just one product, give the people most people they just click and Hey, what should I do next? What should I do next? Then they find okay, I he picked like five of them already, and it's like oh maybe I need to go to check out. They go to check out page. They realize that oh my god, I add five of them in the into the add card page. They need to remove them one by one, right? They don't see they not able to remove it because they go to the check out page already. Maybe they just want to buy one, but here, it showed me five of them. Okay, that could be the conversion killer for you. 
all right and then here again white blue color right use a use a pink color so change this one as well to the pink color okay also the the, the accent you see this is blue also change it to your color i think you are using pink right yes then use pink all right so this is something you can do and for home page yeah it looks okay because you are doing one product store all right so ella i hope Ila, I hope this is really, really can help you for this part. Yeah, the side, actually the side look really, really good to be honest. Your branding, your color look amazing. Just the car, the product, and the variant, and you need more product. Okay, you did a really, really good job on the branding, especially in the beauty niche. Okay, and, and you see the size is good. Alright. So uh, I think that's all. Eh? I have seen if anyone sent me another website. Yep, Soho Mail. So if you want to register for a free uh, email for like a support at your store.com, go to Soho Mail. You said O H O M A I L. There's a free, they have a free version for you to create the email. So it looks better. Okay, good. Perfect. Now go to my site. Okay. Let me show you what I am expecting for you guys. For the store here so I have one created uh, for my student so I know I use the turbo thing right this one I so if you have watched my video you should know you should know how I set it up okay you should know how I set it up so first part of it sorry for this one <laughs> these are just screen capture it try to use a, a colorless a transparent color for the logo transparent one Transparent background. You can just go to search, remove background, or try transparent background online tools. There's a lot of free tools to help you to turn the logo into transparent. The background. Okay. The first page, the first photo should be eye catching. The cat looking at you. They know, a cat store, right? And then try to have some collection here. This this store I only imported just one product, so try to have like three to four collection here. And then you should have the best seller, which is like, uh, like a few products here and your new arrival. Because a lot of returning customer, if they remember you, they will just go to your homepage. They will expect, expect what's new here. You no, know, any new arrival, they will expect, hey, any new best seller that I need to buy or I forgot to buy. And then what are, what are the best selling collection right now? Maybe for example here, it's Black Friday. You can put Black Friday sale collection. Right? This one, I don't maybe new Christmas collection. This one maybe I don't know. All the other depend on the season, and you also need to change the here the slideshow based on the theme. Maybe it's already Christmas. You need to change to Christmas. Black Friday. You need to change to Black Friday. Okay, that's something you need to do as well. Okay, again here you see home for cat for you about us FAQ and contact us. So for about us, I don't know whether I have tell you here, so I didn't tell you here. So for about us, I highly recommend you go to your competitor store, see how they write it. And then based on them to create your own version. Based on them to create your own version. Okay, to make it like a story. Okay, and then contact us. Contact us. I highly recommend you have your phone number here and your email contact support here. Because uh, last few weeks, uh, Google sent me a message that my account, that my website is not up to their standard because I didn't have those two contact information. So you need to have both phone number and the email in the contact us page as well as the bottom. Of a page this is a requirement by google okay, it's not by me it's by google google need you to have the contact in the footer in the contact us page as well as as well as the refund policy page in a refund policy page also put the 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 there okay put the contact information and also the, the phone number there right and then Product page. For product page, for product page, you can see I use the color one, but this is just white color, so I didn't make make it better. So uh yeah, for me I keep it really really simple. So for my face, I keep it really really simple. I just put a very simple paragraph, and the details, which is the material all kind of things, and I put out the photo here. Because if you are doing clothing. You are doing clothing. You there's no feature at all. There's no way for you to type feature about this cloth, right? So if there's no need, no need to do it. 
unless you're selling more like a functional product, sure, you need to have some feature. Like feature one is what, feature two is what, feature three is what. But in most of the product that I test, I just like this kind of product. I just put it there. So this is the easiest, the minimum that you need to have. A very simple paragraph that's talking to them. A very simple thing that is like a feature or is explanation of the product. And then the details. And then a lot of photo here. The best is also have a customer photo. And you put the customer photo from AliExpress. So they can see the real people wearing it. Okay. And then when I click add to cart, see when I click add to cart, it goes straight to the cart page. It goes straight to the cart page. And then my, bot my button is black, right? So when I click checkout, it will also become, the checkout page also is black in color. Okay, this one is red, this is pink. Because, oh, because I use a debut theme. For the debut theme, I use the pink color. I didn't change this one. So for you, make sure when you change the theme, make sure to also double check this page. Most of us, we often forgot to change this page. So this one I'm using black, right? So I should change it to also red. So you don't know how to change the checkout page, let me show you here. Because for the checkout page setting, it's a little bit different. For checkout page setting, you need to go to a page called checkout page setting inside the theme. I will show you here how to click it. So you go to the page here. You see the left hand side corner have something called select page. Like a little while. You, you, you pick a page, go to checkout directly. And then in here, here they have a pop up. A pop up say, hey, do you want to change your checkout page? See, when you click checkout page, you go to checkout page. And then on the left hand side, see here, open checkout setting. Yeah, see, here me open it already, right? Then in here, you can change the color. Scroll down a little bit here, the button and the color. So the button, I should be using the black one. So I'll just change it to the black one and then save. And now, then you have a very first uh, branded color tone, which is only red and only black. Okay, red and black. This is what I'm using for this theme. Okay, because the cell is also red, right? All the button is red, then we'll be okay. So maximum color I have, just black, red, and maybe some white. It depends on the logo, right? the right color in the text. So this is the simplest way for you to do it. All right, let me show you the collection. So for the collection, if you are using a turbo theme, you should, you should see that there's a lot of things on the left hand side, the top hand corner and all these things. I will remove those. I will just keep the product there. So if you have watched my video, you should know how I set up the turbo theme. All right? So for the turbo theme, it's not cheap, to be honest, it's not cheap at all for most of the people. So if you really, really want to invest in the theme, you can just use the Turbo theme. No need to buy all the other theme. Turbo theme is one of the best that I think is the best for you guys to use it and worth the investment. Okay. And and if you do if low in budget, just use the debut theme. Let me show you the debut theme one. I have the debut theme for, for the first setup, which is here, debut. For the debut, it's quite simple, even easier to sell. I think it looks better actually. It looks faster, it's just like this. Then collection, some products, and then for the product page, see the product page, just like this. Very simple one, to pick a color, to pick a size, and then the product page, right? And then when they click add to cart, they will go to the card page, right? And then they click check out. We keep it really reasonable. So for this theme, I use two theme before I, actually I just using, I just have used just one thing. I used a theme called Minimal in four, five years ago. I used a theme called Minimal. It's also, also in the Shopify free theme. But I found that Minimal is mainly for general store. If you are using a general store, I recommend you use, use Minimal. Okay, Minimal is a very, very simple to use. You just Put all the product there. Okay, minimal. If you're a general store. If you're a niche store, I prefer to use the build or the turbo. Alright? Good. So let's do some quick QA. So anyone want to ask some question? Okay, I saw John ask some question. Thank okay, you. Let me share this. Okay. So John asked, do you ensure that clothing size are accurate as the Asian size and human store? Yeah, okay. 
So this issues for the for the clothing one, you have to make it really really clear on your product page that they are different. You let them know this could be the Asian size. You need to ask them to check, or or you can manually increase the size for three size. Normally it's three size. Elo in Asian is actually S. So you can try to change your size charge one by one. Just increase it three times. Everything adds just three, la three, three level and then put it there. But just make sure when you place the order, you understand which one you are ordering. Okay. For images, people wearing the clothes, any copyright issues as they may be. Yep. So Doris asked a really good question. Sure, there is a copyright issue because those belongs to them. Okay, those belongs to them. So if somehow someone asks you about this thing, you have to remove it. Okay, most of the time you just need to remove it. Okay. Uh, the best is sure you send your product to an influencer or someone like your friend and let them wear it and then send a photo to you. So this is like the, the most safest way. Okay. Yep, this session is recorded, Richard, so you can watch the, the replay later on. Okay, so I'm so that's good that you guys don't have any questions. So please, please try to work on your store. Updates all those things together. Okay, update them one by one. Okay, it's very, very, very important that you need to know your store. Because if you really, really ask me to have a very, very standard guideline, I would say uh, I, this is my standard guideline. Because we have seen like a lot, thousands of different stores. Since like, like more than thousand, actually, ten of thousands of stores. So we just by looking at them, we know which one is good, which is not good. Then we know the big store is doing good, why they're doing good. So that's why we have a lot of like based on it's like a subconscious already in our mind. So we can just look at a store to give us a very instant feedback. Okay, not good, not good, not good. Here good, here good, here good. But for you, you need to keep learning, keep testing, to keep learning from those big website. Don't try. Okay, if you just focus on your work, it's so hard for you to be so good. You need to also look at how other people do it, based on what they are doing, combine with your own to create a whole new version. That's the best way to learn. We call it 闭门做句,闭门做句. You close your door and you create your own car. Okay, this is an old Chinese saying. You close your door in your home, you create your own car. It's so hard for your car to be really, really good when it's on the outside. But when you try to make your car outside by following what other people have created, then your car will have learned what they are using, what's the best for, the, for that world or for that area, then you can create a better version. Okay? Keep learning, keep coming to my life every week. I'm sure you can learn something new and then also learn from also other big websites and then learn what they're doing, what's good, what's bad. Combine and create your own website. Because at the end of the time, your website will be unique. You will be totally different from all the other stores. The target is to create your own unique brand store. What I give you is just a standard guideline. A standard guideline that the issue or the problem you have to avoid. But at the end of the time, it's your own uniqueness. That your customer can recognize oh this is your store this is your store you're the first one who use this they will know this is yours and they'll always come back to you just like apple create the first iphone wherever someone create a phone similar to the iphone they will just say hey you copy iphone right this is the first one to do it right yep how about do we review on product page do we need to review on project okay for me to be honored no okay the store that i'm doing here the store that I'm doing here, there is no review at all. Okay, this store, this store, we have no review at all. You can see today, we don't have a review. One point three k, we don't have review. We don't even put review there. I don't know why we have. To, why it's a must to have review. Sure, if you have review, it may increase the conversion rate. But in the beginning, that's not a must. It's not a must. Okay, I, for most of my store, we don't even have a review. I don't know, it's still working. That's why I just don't don't waste my time to do it. Okay. I just wrote Turbo Theme but found my channel page is disabled. Any reason for that? Your channel page is disabled could be you didn't sign up for a plan yet. You are still in a free trial, maybe. You're still in a free trial of your Shopify payment. That's why it didn't give you the option to go to the channel page. So you may have to check the plan of the store to pick a plan first. Okay, which... 
Okay, more hand, more hand. Ask a friend one more thing. How much audience do you recommend for the new two three three method? For the two three three method, I highly recommend it's the, the bigger the better, like ten million or more. Then you're going to test two inches. That's why go as small as possible. Go as small as possible. Really, really bored. You know, if you're doing a watch, just put watch. Okay, you you doing? I don't know fishing. Put fishing. Okay, the bot the keyword, the easiest for Facebook to find you to buy. You need to trust Facebook. Facebook know what you are selling. If the the so smaller the audience you give Facebook, the more difficult it can help you to find a winning audience, a winning product, right? Minimum, ten million, no maximum, no maximum. Which delivery should we set up for the store to roll out? If not, e packet. So. If not e packets, I will choose most of the time AliExpress stand, standard shipping, or just based on which one is faster, and they must offer the trackable shipping cook. First thing, so when you pick the shipping, okay, when you pick the shipping, first, fastest one. Second one, no, no, the first one must be have tracking cook. They're trackable. Second one, fast. The third one, pricing. Normally, the shipping maximum I will pay is just around five dollar maximum extra. Five dollar. If more than five dollar, I will find another shipping, another 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 seller, or see is there another way to ship it. Using GIF on product page reduce the page speed. If it's important for the product, should we go ahead? So, uh, actually for GIF, there's also GIF size reducer. There's some software that can help you reduce the size of the GIF. Go ahead to find those and put it there. Okay, it will reduce your GIF to even even smaller size. There's a lot of software that can do it. Try to find those. Keep the size really really small. Okay, this you need to have it really really small. Otherwise, if it load too long time, it will really really make your site look really really bad. General store for start is that okay for beginner? So I highly recommend even you are a beginner still do a niche store. For doing a niche store, make you learn the fastest. You know the first store I do. It's a puck store. I do a dog store, puck store. I put everything is the puck. Everything is puck. I put like twenty, even thirty bottles is the puck, and I get my first sale just by the first product I found. It's a pure and pure on the amount of this, right? And then the second store I make is a nurse, a nurse store. <laughs> the nurse jewelry, the nurse I don't know, all kind of nurse stuff. Okay, and the third one, and then I move on to the cat store, and the cat store is the store that make me like ten k day. 10k day, 12k day, and that month we make like around 300k per month, and then in that for two months nonstop, we earn like at least one to 200k profit in our bank in the first year. I do e-commerce in Q4. Okay, so it takes time for you to learn, but if you do general store, it's so hard for you to learn. You just pick different product, different product, different product, different product, different product, different product. But you need to pick one niche and focus on that niche to understand everything first. You understand the whole flow. You know how to do, and then you can slowly move on to another niche store, and another niche store. If you do general store, your knowledge will only be general knowledge. Okay, it will not be a niche knowledge. For example, you go to learn like a music instrument, like in a bank, you play a play in a bank band. Will you learn one hour of guitar, and then one hour of drum, and then one hour of piano, and one hour of vocal, or you pick? I will want to play guitar first. Then you at least you master guitar for a few months, and you try to play around with the drum. And they play around with the I know vocal. You try to sing some songs, right? And then you try to learn the piano, the keyboard, right? It's always like a level. You move up from one to another one to another, and then you have an overall picture. That's you become an industry leader. If you start with a general store, who can you learn from? You can just learn from a general store. But you know, for a general store that can make him big money, I can literally tell you, okay, all general store that you are spying from, those store owner, they are really really big. They test like five to ten product per day. I have a student. I have a student, a Korean student. He's he run he run general store. He tests one hundred product per week. Yeah, he tests one hundred product per week in a general store. So if you are doing general store, do you think you can compete with someone doing one hundred product per day per week? Think about it. Are you able to compete with them without any data? Every day you launch a new campaign, you are testing different inches. If I do a niche store. All my target is that I want to find the best winning inches in fishing niche. 
I can compile a list of 20, 50 winning inches in fishing niche. Whatever I test a fishing product, I put it there. I can have sales no matter what product I sell because I have the winning inches. That's the target you need to aim for. This is called investment. If you invest in general store, I do 20 niche in 20 products. You can't even find a winning inches. This you don't have enough data for your pixel as well. Your pixel also need data. One store, one pixel. Okay, one store, one pixel. So that's why I have six store, I have six pixel. That's why you can you not mix up with anything, all the data. But I can't, it's really, really good, pure, mature, because you focus on a niche store. The audience side, yeah, answer already. Okay. Good idea to rebrand the general store to a niche store. Yep, rebrand the general store to a niche store. How about audience at 150? If, if your audience is 150 million, you need to think about what what niche you are in. If you're doing a niche store, there should be a niche keyword. Okay, unless it's a cat. Yeah, it's cat, you put a cat. Sure, cat is really, really big. Okay. Which Shopify plan? In the beginning, just use the $29 one, the, the cheapest one. Use the cheapest one and then use the advancement if you later on. Here's the percentage of the charge. 2%, 3%, 1%. The $29 is 2% extra processing fee. And then 1% for the $79 And then one nine nine is like 0.5%. Use the $29 one in the beginning. Right? So Freddie said you have a sales from Eye of Man. So for this case, maybe you just need to, you have to refund it. And then you try to exclude the country for your future targeting. So you know that this country you should avoid it. Okay, if your seller cannot ship it to there. If you have 30 days shipping, if you say, okay, yep. It's okay to have 30 days shipping. It's okay, as long as you make it clear on your product page. It takes a long time for ship. Express shipping, I would put paste, paste it. Express shipping, mean DHL right? or UPS, right? So if those product or someone, you can actually, you can talk to yourself, your, your customer. You say that, hey, thank you for ordering from us, but we have a delay shipping to your country. So if you want faster shipping, you may need to pay like $20 more. Do you want to do it? Otherwise, you may take around 30 days. If they want to pay it, then if they pay it, then you can do the express shipping. Testing one free product at one time, does this product much be the same color grade? Yep, try to be the same product type. If you're using the 233 method, try to be in the same product type. Like shoes, watches, I don't know, bed. Try to make it as similar as possible. Just the design is a little bit different. Minimum purchase free shipping or all free shipping. I charge shipping unless they spend like fifty dollar. So fifty dollar above free shipping, fifty dollar below four point nine five. Do you recommend put in countdown timer? Don't use countdown timer. Do you think it would be a good idea to test like eighteen product one to twenty? No, test product one by one. You will if you test too many product, too many ad, ad budget in one day. Facebook will ban your account because they feel like it's too risky for you to spend too much money on one day. They will find out that you may try to do something scammy. Try to launch one campaign per day. If you are new ad account, it's a very mature account. It's okay, but new ad account don't do too much. Okay, Richard. Richard asks for niche store. As example, a dog, cat can consider put under one niche store. Yup, it can be a pet store. Dog and cat can be a pet store. Is shipment to US normal? Yep, normal, totally normal. Okay. <sighs> One and a half hour, okay. I'm hungry already. <laughs> so, uh, fan last one, okay. Can you recommend any good sourcing agent in China? Sourcing agent, just, I will recommend for sourcing agent, just go to find your supplier. Your supplier on AliExpress is actually a really, really good sourcing agent. Just talk to them. They are the one who have the market knowledge. Just talk to your sub AliExpress supplier. Let them to make you a deal and then they can become your shipping agent. They are the one who handle this product. They are the one who understand what is working in this niche. They can become your sourcing agent because they are the one to sell in the niche product in their AliExpress store. They are the one who have the best access to a factory. Alright. So uh we're gonna do the lucky draw. For the free consultation call, okay. So Cherry gonna gonna pick one of you guys from the from the comment section to to see who is the lucky one, okay. And again, so if 
So we actually we have two uh, membership for you guys to join if you really really want really to learn more about e-commerce. Okay, if you do not have a budget, stick with my free training. I'm so sure only my free training can get you to one k day easily. If you really really make good use of my everything I teach you. Okay, and if you want to know more case study, you want to know more about business mindset, which you all need. Okay, we have an entrepreneurs club. It costs sixty dollar per month. Okay, sixty dollar per month. We do weekly training every Thursday. You can see the link there already. Just go there if you want to join it. I do training every single Thursday to give you an idea how to become a very good entrepreneur, how to build your team, how to automate your team, how to think like a boss. Okay, this is most people who lack of. If you work in your store all by yourself, you're gonna work for your whole life. You're so tired. The more sales you get, the more tiring you are. But if you have a team, your team can scale up. Your team make the money. They happy. You happy. All right. If you still more, is still interested in the e-commerce coaching. We have some uh, some coaching students already making sales. They also hired their team only for just around a few weeks. Okay, so we still have the coaching. Okay, so you can private message me. You still want to join the group coaching for group coaching every week? You do a two to three hour long of demonstration to really make sure you can get ten k day in Q four. This is my target. All my coaching students in my coaching group, I will in this six month, I will make sure that you guys try to get ten k per day with multiple niche store. Okay, so this is my target for everyone. So if you're interested in both of them, just send me a message or just click the link in the in the description. So Cherry now gonna pick someone who do the coffee consultation. Hmm? Okay, we we'll give you twenty second, twenty second to type. I know anything that can get Cherry. I'm not going to see that. But Cherry is not gonna do see. Cherry gonna cover his her her eyes. Try to meditate, connect with Cherry. Okay, see how we can. Distantly, send some signal to Cherry, then Cherry gonna pick you. All right. So for review, yeah, uh, just use the product review. Okay, just the free one from Shopify, for the app. <laughs> one million influencer. <laughs> yep. Uh, we are actually coming up with some ambassador program. So we want to build a group of people who really really love our training and want you to become an ambassador. I don't know. Maybe try to promote our knowledge of mindset of helping more people to most people. Okay, I will announce it more later, so you guys can have private training from us and my team to teach you how to do, I don't know, all kind of things for free. Oh, my face is gone. Okay, you can still see me, right? You can still hear me, right? So, uh, <laughs> my my website, my 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 camera, just out of battery. I don't know why, but you can still hear me, I guess. So cherry. Gonna pick a winner, Cherry. Gonna pick a winner. So Cherry gonna pick a winner. <laughs> okay. So Cherry gonna pick a winner here. Okay. So five, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two. One. Pina, where's your mouse? <laughs> okay, Rohit, your spamming tactics works. Okay, Rohit, your spamming tactics works. Okay, so Rohit, you are the one who get a free call from us. So Rohit, send me a private message. <laughs> okay, your determination works. Okay, you spamming everything. So everyone know you really really want to get it. <laughs> okay, Rohit, so. Everyone say congratulations to Rohit because Rohit is the one who really, really always prefers to message me. Rohit. It's everyone is Rohit. <laughs> okay, so uh, sorry for you cannot see my face because my camera is just out of battery. Uh, so have a nice day, everyone. I'm sure you can still hear me, right? Okay, so have a nice day, everyone. Um, I hope you guys can get the result like this. Okay, in just a few days. Trust me, it's really, really feasible for this one for this kind of result. Okay. This is my target to set for you. Okay, try to reach one k day, one k day in the next two to three weeks. This is my target for every one of you. If you hit one k day, post a screenshot in the group. Let everyone know you can do it. Okay, because you learn it just by learning from my training. Okay, I do it all for free just because for you guys to be successful. Because Q four is coming, I want you guys to be successful as well. Okay, this is my wish for you guys. This is my blessing for you guys. Because if I can do it for a student that's in just 
for 20 for me as a 20 years old student that have 10k usd in debt on my credit card i still can do like 300k per month in the first year i do e-commerce i'm so sure every one of you can do it i never do go into the nine to five i never know how does it work for a corporate job but right now i own three company company of like 20 people 30 people working for me okay so if i can do it as a 26 year old man here here with my fiance cherry do it together i'm sure sure every one of you can have the potential to do it all right follow my training learn everything that i teach you even drop notes share the notes with everyone in the group be active in the group also invite more people to the group so that your friend your family can also learn from us and then because learn it together as a group the faster you grow if you do it alone you are selfish if you're selfish your money you earn is really really little but you do it like a team that's how you can learn everything, right? So, PM me, private message me if you're interested in any kind of coaching or entrepreneur club or you have any question, I will try to reply you, okay? And then if you want, feel free to add me as a friend, okay? I still have a lot of friend requests, but feel free to add me as a friend, I will approve you. And if any question, I can easier to reply you. Because if you are not my friend, you send me a message, will be into the request box that I cannot see it, all right? So, thank you everyone. See you guys later. Have an amazing, amazing weekend. And then have a nice day, everyone. And see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, Rohit, send me a message. I will send you the link to protocol. <laughs> okay. Your wish comes true, Rohit. Okay, fan Jonas, fan Rohit, fan Taurus, fan Monita, fan Stephanie, fan Jonas. Yeah, Angel also here. Good, Richard also here. Good, Eddie, Michael, everyone is here. Okay, fans, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Oh, my publisher. Okay, I forgot to publish the poll. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Bye bye.